In this step then, we're going to create some materials for the cabin that we've just imported. So what I'm gonna do in this one is I'm just gonna show you how to create one of the materials. So we're gonna start with this one here, M underscore slats. So we'll make that one together and then I'm gonna let you make the rest because it's just repeating the process. And we'll meet in the next video where we'll make M underscore window together. So that material, the window one, I want us to make together because we're gonna use something slightly different. We're gonna have an emissive texture in there, which is gonna require, uh, require a multiply node and it's a slightly different way of working. So we'll start with this first one anyway. So let's just dock cabin over here. So we're gonna start with M underscore slats, we can see that. So we need to go into our materials folder. Let's keep things neat. So I'm gonna go right click. We're gonna create a new material and it's gonna be called M underscore slats. Lovely, so let's open that up. Here we go. So what we need to do is bring in some texture samples to this. So as I've done previously, I'm gonna hold T and left click. And I think for this one, I'm gonna need three texture samples. So I'm holding T and left clicking three times. And I need to load in those texture samples that I've just imported for this slats material. So if I click over here, and if I search for slats, these should be named pretty usefully. Wood slats it's called, that's good. So we'll have diffuse in that one. The next one is gonna be our roughness. We'll search for slats again. And we'll have the roughness. And then this third one's gonna be our normal map. So I'll search for slats again, and there's wood slats underscore N. And then I'm going to plug that one into base color. The roughness obviously goes into roughness. And the normal map's gonna go into normal. There we go. So that's it for um, this material. And all of the other ones, apart from the window, are just the same. Uh, and naming them should be dead straightforward. So by the time you're done, you should have M underscore slats, M underscore tiles, M underscore chimney, M underscore door, M underscore beam. As long as you've got all of those, you'll be ready to create window in the next step. But before we do that, we're just gonna save this material and now we'll assign it to the correct slot on the cabin. So if we go in here now that we've saved it, so here we can see we want slats. So I'm gonna search here for slats, because I know we've now created that. Select that and you can see that now this is starting to get filled in. So that's the first material on there. So what I want you to do now is create those other materials. So all of them apart from window, ignore Lambert 1 and ignore default material. I'm not sure why they're there. I thought I'd got rid of those. And we'll just do the window in the next step. So I will meet you in the next video where we've all got loads of materials made. Thanks for watching. If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went, and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.